hello guys you're welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel i'm ivy akum and if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet please just kindly hit right down on the subscribe button so this video is going to be a representation of how traditional weddings are done from where i come from which is the mugamo land it is actually the traditional wedding of my junior sister so please do not go anywhere keep watching so on this faithful day we woke up early in the morning got the house ready for the occasion and then there was the women who were outside doing the preparations for the food and everything and then of course as usual i was the one to do my sister's makeup so this is our bride looking so beautiful and so glowing as you can see so how do you feel i'm excited i'm pissed. i can imagine more to that, my sister is doing my makeup. I know I'm in good hands. Okay, so these are the sisters of the bride. How do you guys feel today? Very excited. Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, how do you feel? Oh, I'm very happy. My friend, all I have to do is make you think that it's a normal It's like I'm not So normally in the Mogamo culture, there are certain meals which must be present during traditional weddings. And one of those meals is beans, which is called in the dialect Kung Kambu. And another of those meals is this bitter leaf, this special bitter leaf made with chicken, which is called Tho. And I was the one in charge of this special bitter leaf. Trust me, it's so, so, so tasty. This is what most people love to eat when they go for traditional weddings in our land. Yes. So this is the mother of the bride, and yes. this is the beautiful bride, and this is the bride's friend. So as the mom of the bride, mommy, tell us how do you feel? In fact, I will begin by saying to God alone be the glory. Amen. In fact, I could not wait for a day like this. Oh yeah. In my heart are packets of sugar. Oh. I, am, I feel so humbled. The pride of every mother. I have done nothing to deserve this type of blessing. Oh. 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 On a wonderful day such as this, that this wonderful daughter mm. of mine, my oh, my oh. Oh. that I'm leaving, I'm, 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 I'm handing her wow. over to a husband. I can only but say I thank God for everything. Amen. 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 And I just want to say I'm so so happy. Okay. It's so I'm so emotional. I feel like crying, but it's a joyful song. Oh yes. Please, I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for the beautiful makeup. You're welcome. I wish you the best in your marital life. <laughs> so at this point i was doing the final touches on her makeup because her husband's people had already come and they were now waiting for the family of the bride to come along with the bride and before this happens there are usually very very interesting games which are played before the bride is finally brought which you are going to of course see as the video goes on the bride is a beautiful and worthy bride so normally in the culture we have to really really play hard to get before we finally unveil that bride to them the games are really really so interesting which are played by the sisters of the bride and sometimes the aunties of the bride and sometimes also children of the family Before the whole occasion begins, the sisters of the bride usually go with traditional collar knots and garden egg and present it in front of the elders, which is exactly what we are doing here. We bow as a sign of respect and paying of allegiance to the elders of the family before the whole occasion starts. And now the interesting games before the bride is brought. Oh, that's begins. Land, see, they're very far. Very far for far away land. For me, for go reach for that place, I will need transport. And I will need for chop flock before I go. So I don't know. If you don't feed me now or you don't pay me that transport, I know we'll be able to bring that plant. I get my special kind job where I'll be chopper. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes,
The bride is usually concealed and put amongst other people so the groom's people won't be able to identify her easily and that would of course mean they'll have to pay more and more. <laughs> So finally, we brought the bride for the last time and we chose their bride for the day right of their choice. So this is an elder of the groom's family acknowledging that they have seen their bride and welcoming the bride to the family. So before they take their bride away, the sisters of the bride usually still play more games.
After the bride opens a jug of palm wine, then the elder of the family then drinks some and gives the rest to the bride, of which she uses that to look for her groom and then gives the cup of palm wine to her groom, which signifies and seals their marriage finally. what usually follows is dancing merry men and of course eating Bride and the groom are usually the first to serve themselves and then the elders and then every other person for this. Wow, 
there was a whole variety of both traditional and assorted meals available for people to eat and make merry because it was a merry merry occasion so what followed was pictures taking and merriment and every other thing so i'm going to end the part one here please stay tuned for part two because part two promises to be so so epic thank you all so so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't this is a sharing committee so in our tradition normally we the girls after we have collected the money from the in-laws come we sit down we calculate and we know how we're going to ration <laughs> Who said traditional fight? Fight over here! Watch us, it's two chance!